Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Allison. So for today's video, I want to share with you what I put into my travel makeup bag. And if you guys have followed me on my Instagram, you guys know I traveled to Banff, Canada last few weeks during the Christmas holiday season. So with that limited packing and luggage that we can bring with us during the snowboarding trip, this is everything that I pack into my makeup bag and this is everything that I need during the trip for my makeup. So the purpose of this video is to show you all the items that I bring with me during travel. And I believe a lot of you would travel with your staple makeup item, the makeup item that you trust, how it stay put onto your face. So these are all the trusty makeup items that I've been using and I bring them with me during the travel season. And this is everything that I need for my makeup. So I'm going to share with you what are all the goodies inside this makeup bag. So usually during the winter season, I'll be traveling a lot because of snowboarding. And this is everything that I fit in. So it has a lot of random stuff in here. But all the stuff that it's I need into my makeup collection or toiletry kind of mixture. So you see everything that I bring with me. And I know... This could be a lot for someone, but for me, with someone that is really picky with makeup and I'm, I do makeup for my channel, this is quite little, I would say. So first off, I like to go with all the base items that I use and then moving on to the foundation, eyebrow, product, and everything else. So again, I'm going to go in with my trusty item, which is my two staple item here, Becca Under Eye Brightening concealer this is the pink salmon finish so if you have been watching me on my channel this is my under eye brightening concealer that i used before my holy grail concealer which is pemagraph this is probably my third or fourth bottle already this concealer is my holy grail it, it's creamy but yet it stay put and i use this all season from summer winter to fall or whatever season i'll be using this concealer and i'm in the shade l5 so those are the two staple items and recently for foundation i've been only using one foundation lately during this fall winter season so this is the hourglass avian soft glow foundation i'm using this in the shade number four this is my current shade and this normally if i use this during the summertime i will get very oily but nowadays i feel like the older i get i get less oily but i'm still a very oily girl but this is something that it works throughout the fall to winter time it's like the perfect coverage that it gives me usually with this kind of like soft glow foundation with the name of it i would stay away from it because with my oily skin but this it truly gave me that full coverage foundation like medium to full coverage foundation i would say and at the same time it doesn't get me oily i can wear this really nicely throughout the eight hours mark, like when I go to work, this is something that I wear every day. And then moving on to the loosening powder, I usually put the liquid and the loosening powder into this Ziploc bag. I know it's not something that is fancy, but it works. So the loosening powder that I am bringing along with me this time around is Wear Beauty. This is the light setting powder. What I like about this setting powder, first off, I mean the packaging it's very minimalistic but i like that it is very travel friendly because it does have this little um switchy thing that it disposes the loosening powder that you can control the quantities so i usually would pour this into the cap and grab all the loosening powder product i like that it has a closure so no loosening powder will come out easily so i like to travel with this kind of packaging when it comes to loosening powder and my other trusty contour product this is the only product that i bring with me this time it's a project top so if you know me personally or on my youtube channel you know this is my holy grail contour this is the only contour that i bring with me every single time so this is from patrick top i barely use the bottom part because i feel like this it just really tan on my skin so this is the contour that i'm using today with the kind of like a cream contour but i like it because it dries down matte finish once it's set it on it doesn't move around and i like to use this kind of brush to blend it in which comes to 
another zip up pack. So this is the brush that I use to contour my face. It's just the perfect angle. I don't think they sell it in Sephora collection again, but this is just a Sephora brand contour. You can grab any kind of contour brush. It looks like this. But again, I love this kind of contour brush because it's really dense and also it fits in right perfect into the area of my face. And another brush right here is for the little contour from Benefit Hula. This is nothing new, but this again, it's something that it's perfect for contouring your eye area, your nose. This is like the most neutral color powder contour that I like to bring with me. You guys can see it just blends in very seamlessly. And you can see the huge difference on this side and this side of my face. Gives the nice depth of my eye look. So again, this is a travel size I like to bring around with me. Okay, moving on to brow products. I do have a few brow products that I bring with me this time of year. So currently I am trying to finish up the Charlotte Tilbury. This is their brow product in the shade dark brown. It's called Brow Cheat. And the only thing is this brow product is pretty intense, I would say. So this is what it looks like with the color of it but I feel like this is just way too intense for my look right now so I like to go and kind of like a scope out the shape of my brow and then go in with this product this is Refi and I'm sure a lot of you know this brand so this product it comes with the little product on in the end part so it's very travel friendly and on the other side this is the brush so what I do is step into the product. It's kind of like a pomade in a way, but in the pen finish. And also I like to fill this in into the sparse area after I scope out my shape. So this is also what I have been using on my eyebrow these days. And this too is like the best duo for now. And then I have this pen, which I already finished it up, but I love this kind of shape of the brow brush because it's huge. This is a really good brush, I would say, because when you are in rush, this brow brush, it comes in very handy. But I also love this product from New Brow because I love that it comes with this like kind of, kind of pomade finish. You can just fill in all the sparse area easily. This is like a three in one product, I would say. So usually I don't really bring much eyeliner with me if I'm doing my eyelash extension. So during this trip, I do have my eyelash extension on, which is the DIY eyelash extension that I talk about it on my YouTube channel. If you guys are wondering what are those DIY, save your money kind of eyelash extension, you guys can check out the link up here or the video link up here. But if I have an eyelash extension, I barely would do my eye makeup. But if I don't, this is the eyeliner that I brought with me this time from Isle Maquillage. This is their Black Card Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I like this because it's a darkest black finish, but it also at the same time, it doesn't smudge at all time. During the summertime when I have oily eyelid, it doesn't move around. So this is my trusty eyeliner when I travel with. And the rest of the item here in the makeup bag is all the random stuff or some of the extra stuff that I brought with me. So Hourglass, concealer this is in the shade fawn i don't use this as a concealer but i use this nowadays as a spot conceal or as a foundation when i'm in a rush i don't want to use a foundation i'll be using this hourglass concealer to conceal everything like my redness on the face or just use it as a foundation it has been my favorite way to apply when i'm in a rush so this is something that I always brought with me when I was in a rush or traveling with or I need to do my makeup in the car. This is like my go-to concealer slash foundation, a backup powder compact foundation. And also again, this is also my trusty compact touch-up foundation that is waterproof. I test it out in my, one of my YouTube channel video. You guys can check out the link up here. But this is something that you can wear 24-7 anywhere you go. You never touch up. It looks very flawless and it's easy to travel with the size of it. And you don't have to be afraid of it getting loose or 
you've got a scratch on the coverage because this is more of a drugstore product. So again, this is from L'Oreal Invaluable 24 Hours Fresh Wear Compact Foundation. I'm in the shade 120 Vanilla. And this is a travel size Urban Decay All Nighter. This is what I use to set my makeup if I'm going out for the night. I need to use this to lock in my makeup. Highly recommend to get their travel size. And then for the highlighter, I only have one highlighter in this compact and this is the Becca highlighter in Opal. I'm not sure if they still sell this in store because I know Becca is not running their business anymore. But this is like back then the very popular, one of the popular color from Becca. So Opal, this is what it looks like with kind of like a champagne shade and more of a bronzy tone I would say and for lip products I have one lip liner and two lip products here because we're going out for dinner during the trip so one of the most like natural finish lip product is from summer friday this is their vanilla beige and this is what the shade looks like it's more of a brown tone but also it's very like creamy natural finish when it's blend in it looks like just my lips but better so i like this kind of like natural looking lip when i'm not doing like a full face of makeup on and then the next lip product is from patrick ta so both of them are from patrick ta i have been loving his lip product this is what it looks like and this is the shade of the lip liner. This is more of a neutral tone. So this is in the shade She's Proud. And I like to pair this kind of lip liner with darker tone of a lip cream. So Patrick Ta also have their lip cream. This is in the shade She's Independent. So you guys can see this would be a perfect match for the lip duo and another lip product i'm not sure why i'm bringing a lot of lip product here but this is nyx butter gloss if you're looking for more affordable lip product and this is in the shade butterscotch i believe this was really popular back then but i still love this shade because it just kind of looks like my lip better and if you know me i love all that brown tone neutral tone color and then i have a lot of random stuff here first up is this diptyque tester perfume and i like to bring all the tester with me because i don't want to bring a full size of perfume so i have two different perfume here so this perfume right here is from diptyque this is their rose scent i believe it's called dosen this is from louis vuitton i have their full size and when i purchase the full size it comes with two sample size this is more of a neutral scent for guys and girls can wear this. I love how it's very different than what I have in my collection. This is called Afternoon Swim. So if you guys are bored of getting all the ladies perfume, I do highly recommend this scent because this is nothing that I have in my collection. And if you know me personally, I can just smell the scent, like the most popular perfume, Sephora all has it with the scent that you put it on your, to your skin. I can definitely know what brand it is and kind of like know the name of it. That's how my obsession with perfume. So if I say something that I never have in my collection, which means like it's pretty unique in a way because i feel like with a lot of perfume it can come very redundant with all the scent like the rose scent the fruity scent so i do recommend louis vuitton afternoon swim i think you will like it and all the random stuff here is a hair tie a ear stopper what do you call this when someone snore i couldn't sleep so i always have to have this in my travel bag and also have pimple patch because your girl has pimples all the time and then I have a little of a bandage with me eye drop disposable eye drop and also neurosprain which comes in handy when you travel with in a lot of different city and also lastly I have this hand sanitizer oh I have two more little 
item in the Zipper bag. This is from Tati Beauty. This is what I use to put my loosening powder on my face. Last item here is Glossier Cloud Paint. This is in the shade Dusk. I have been loving this cloud paint because it just gives me the most natural kind of blush finish. And this is what I've been using today on my cheek. Usually with the camera, it kind of diffuses the blush color, but you guys can still see how intense it looks. But in a way, it looks very natural. So this has been my go-to blush cream product lately. Oh, I also forgot to mention, this is the makeup bag from March Cups. I just love how large it is the capacity of this makeup bag it's insane and the inside you can see there's a lot of space can fit a lot of items in it and it's not too big to travel with so this has been my go-to travel bag lately so this is all the product that i brought with me during this canada trip I know I say limited, but I know there's a lot of stuff, but I do get very picky with makeup some of the time. So I want to make sure in this like whole week, I have something that I need in my makeup bag for my makeup look. But honestly, when you are snowboarding, if you know snowboarding every single day, I wouldn't recommend wearing makeup when you snowboard because it would get a little messy and it would just kind of ruin your makeup in a way so these are the stuff that i only use when i don't snowboard on those days so again these are all my trusty item i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and knowing a little bit more about what's in my makeup collection or something that i never mention it on my youtube channel and also feel free to share with me what are one of the items that you must have in your makeup bag these are the items that you can live without when you travel and your stable like a foundation item or if it's a stable brow pencil that you need in your makeup bag when you travel let me know what are they in the comment down below and also if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up to support me and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys In the morning